everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, happy to have you here. So this video was intentionally or initially supposed to be about a book haul with black authors specifically. That was what my patrons voted for over on my Patreon. I felt like that was also my preferred video, but unfortunately I couldn't get the books in time to film. So that will be the next video after this, and I just went with the next vote, which was a sketchbook tour. So if you want to vote for YouTube videos, what I choose to record next and, you know, get access to a bunch of other cool things, I will link my Patreon down below. And just to let you know, I will be donating 100% of my Patreon pledges to Black Lives Matter movements. I don't have a specific organization just yet. I want to do the research first to make sure that I'm going to donate to a really good place. Plus, 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 my employer will be matching my donations 100%. So 100% of my pledges that will be donated will also be matched by my employer, which means that the donation will essentially double. I'll leave that down below if you're interested and let's get right into this. So I'm gonna start with, uh, I have quite a few books actually, but this one is actually empty. I don't even know why it's here. I made this recently over on my IGTV. It was a DIY sketchbook that I just wanted to make for myself, so if you're interested in that, um, it's over on my IGTV, so there's that. But these have things in it, um, and I think I'm going to start with the big books and then go on to the smaller books. I think that's chronologically correct anyway, so let's just, let's just do it. Okay, look at this, look at this cute kitty. Isn't this so adorable? I don't even know where I got the sticker from, but... This was my first watercolor journal. Um, it's nothing special. I wanted it spiral. That was honestly my only criteria when I got this. And I was very new. This was probably like my very first watercolor paintings and in here. So I'm a little scared. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is not even watercolor. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like a coffee cup that I was sketching and I just ditched it because I wasn't into it. But uh, yeah, great start. Um... I don't know what this is. I think this is Ian's drawing. Like, I wouldn't draw something with such line, lineage. I don't know how to explain it. He he goes like this when he draws, and I'm more of like a steady hand. So this looks like his. I don't even know what it is. I'll probably ask him. I don't know. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. So it looks like I ditched the previous coffee cup and I went with this one, and I actually love this still. It's a cute little galaxy in a cup, you know, a little hipster, but I think it's not bad for someone who just learned how to watercolor and, you know, is experimenting. I, I really like this a lot. Okay, so I know exactly what I was going for with this. Um, first of all, I can feel the cakiness of the paint. Like, I use a really cheap paint set, obviously, when I first started. I can feel it, and it's kind of gross, but I believe um, I used a Pinterest photo to do this. And you know what? It's not bad for a beginner, but also this this right here is just driving me nuts. It's <laughs> it's literally a box for a car. It's supposed to be a car driving through the through the woods or something like that. Yeah, nothing special. I do like the different colors and grades. I guess that must be something <laughs> cool about it. Oh my gosh, I love this painting and I will not forget it. I recall this becoming a print in my shop at the time. I don't have a shop anymore, but this was a print that I um, had and I love it so much. Like even though I used the cheap paints, I think it came out really well. I think it's super, super cute. I actually had a friend, I made a print for a friend, uh, CC, over on Instagram. I'll put her handle um, in my description. She's amazing. Um, and I believe I sent this to her and she loved it. And I, I think I want it to you. Okay, so this is definitely a snapshot from Getaway. If you don't know what Getaway is, it's like these tiny cabins out in like the outskirts of cities. So as soon as I see this, I know that it's a Getaway because it, it just incites that memory for me. And even though it's really shallow, like there's no depth in layering, I really like this. I like the fact that I can look at it and be like, I know what I'm looking at here. I know what memory this takes me to. So I, I still like this. I like this a lot. Okay. What is this? 
I don't even know what this is. It looks like buckets of flowers. I, I'm like experimenting with different heads of flowers. Why? I have no clue. Okay. Okay. I like this. Again, I, I guess I was really into galaxies when I was first starting watercolor. And honestly, I'm a little impressed with it. It's not depth. It, there's no depth, like I said before, but, you know, I was using cheap paints. Um, and this also was a print that one friend, uh, Sarah, on Instagram, I'll link her as well, uh, she bought this, and I think she still has this. Also, Jenna, Jenna on Instagram. I'm saying their first names as if I, as if we know who I'm talking about, but I can't remember their full handles right now, so I'll link it below, but they have prints of this in their house, and I'm very grateful. Ah, camping beetles. Okay, so I did an IGTV video on this. I think it's still up there where I was painting every single, like, every single doodle um, on the video. And I immediately regretted it as soon as I started because I didn't want to take the camera off, but I started with the backpack and I started with um, this burgundy color and I wanted this part to be brown and it came out more yellow. So it just reminded me of McDonald's and I'm like... I was so thrown off that I just hated the entire thing at the time. I just wanted it to be over with and just post that IGTV video and just get on with my life, but it's not it's not bad, I, I guess. Another pencil sketch in a watercolor book for some reason. It looks like it's my rabbit. I can tell it's her because I, I tried to include her little beard. Okay, a whale. Uh, sure. There's not even lines. There's no lines over here, but there's lines over here. Maybe I was going for something more abstract. I don't know. I have nothing to say about this. Ugh. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I know there was a time where I was experimenting with antlers and, you know, animal skulls. I have no clue why I chose the colors for this. Maybe, I, I have no idea. But I think I was just experimenting at the time. Some pencil sketches. I don't know if you can see that. They're really horrible. It looks like there's an owl, coffee, and cherry pie. So, Twin Peaks. Well, so Twin Peaks. Okay, I love this one. So, a little story behind this. This is uh, the first apartment that I lived in ever and the first apartment that I had with Ian. We were actually living, so it was a huge house, and it was split exactly in half, which I thought was really quirky and cute, and that's why I sort of differentiated it here, but we lived on this side, and we lived all the way in the back, so we never even, we weren't even a part of this front half, we were in the back that nobody, like, even knew we existed, so it's pretty funny that I did the whole house, I, I did it when we moved out so that I can have it sort of as a memory, um, but it's funny that we aren't even associated with the front of the house, and yeah. Looks like I decided to experiment with more houses, and what is this? Like, what? I don't know. Pencil sketch of a maple leaf, I guess. I don't know what's going on there. Another pencil sketch. What am I doing? So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically another snapshot from getaway. I can tell because it looks like a photo that I took exactly of this shot, but it looks like I, I didn't like it enough to paint it. I truly don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Why am I, first of all, why am I drawing in pencil in a watercolor book? Like, what a waste. Some cherry pie. Definitely was going for a Twin Peaks thing because I don't even like cherry pie. Oh, okay. So that's the end of it. And I actually filled this up. I thought that I hadn't filled it up. I mean, I know half of them aren't even full pieces, but not bad. Okay, let's go on to some others. Ooh. Okay, so this book, by the way, I don't know what brand this is. Montreal Watercolor is the brand of this book. Uh, it's so long ago that I can't remember where I got it from, but if I do remember, I'll link it down below. Now this one I got from a local bookstore and I also don't know the brand. I'm so not helpful, can you tell? Um, but I saw it in a local store and I picked it up because it said on the sticker that it was a watercolor book. Now, 
Spoiler alert, this is not a watercolor book, okay? It's smooth, so I thought it was hot press. If you want to know what cold press and hot press is, let me know. I can do another in-depth video, but I thought it would be hot press, and as soon as I put water on this thing, it just did not take. It, it's just not watercolor paper. It's more like for inks. So I believe I ripped out all the pages that had watercolor in it, and I did inking. And speaking of inking, I use it specifically for Inktober for 2019, and I think my theme was home or like house-like items for that Inktober, and I hadn't finished it, of course, because that's typical me, but let's see what I did. So I actually wrote the word for the Inktober theme, and this one was rain, and I was going for a Japanese-style house, because rain, Japanese, it, it was such a fail. Like, I hated how it came out so much. That I just gave up on the shading and was just like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> um, this one is mindless, and it looks like I started and I didn't finish. I think my plan here was to do the outline and then I was gonna ink it with some really India ink, and I just never, I never did it. I wanted to, I wanted it to look like it was a floating house, and it was sort of like a hill house in my mind kind of thing. This one is called Bait. I really like this one. I don't know if you recall this or maybe maybe these don't exist anymore, but there were these house decor items which it was a it was a fish. It was a fake fish, plastic fish, where you'd press a button at the bottom and the front of the head of the fish would come out and sort of sing to you. It was so ugly and it was such a thing of a certain time and I don't know why people loved it so much, but they did. And so I wanted to play on that in like an old, old dingy house with this scary, scary fish as that decor item. And I, I think this is such a cool one. Maybe I'll put color in it one day, but I really like this one. Freeze, this one is supposed to be an octopus coming out of an igloo. It's horrible. Build, this was supposed to be a play off of like a child building a town. And that was the child's hand. Oh, sorry, it's not even saying. This is the child's hand, and it's building this town, and I just never put it to fruition. I guess I gave up. Husky. This one I like also. I think it's really cute, and I guess I like the minimal ones because I am more of a minimal artist. Uh, but I was going for, like, a creepy Cujo dog in his creepy Cujo dog house. Um, so I like, uh, but I like this one. I think it's kind of cute. Thank you patrons. Uh, this is so unrelated to Inktober as you can see I used color pencil but this was for Thank You Patrons Day where I created a specific piece of art for them and I did it in uh, colored pencil and I sent it to them uh, digitally. Okay, that seems to be it. I have quite a bit in this book. I should really fill it up. The problem is that I focus on um, watercolor so I don't really have reason to go back to this unless I use it for Inktober. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll save this for Inktober 2020. Ooh, exciting. Okay. I use this book specifically for sketching out ideas for stickers. Um, so that's probably what you're going to see in here. Uh, I'll show you. It's it's from the brand Paquetto or Paquetto. And it's very thin paper. It's literally computer paper. So... Nothing too special, and I think there's a lot in here, so I'll, I'll try to be quick. Okay, so this is some sketches for autumn stickers, as you can see. And then we've got some magical witchy vibe stickers. I still love these to this day, but I don't sell them anymore. I have some food tarot stickers. I really love this concept, but it ended up failing, but it was a lot of fun to create. Mushrooms! I love mushrooms. Uh, it's so hard to get a good mushroom, so like you start off looking like this weird guy and then you end up looking pretty cute. But I love doing mushrooms. Um, wait, I love drawing mushrooms. Clarification. These are sketches for camp stickers. I still like this wood design here. Um, this is actually a sketch for a commission that I did. I commissioned um, doing someone's house, sort of like how I did with the apartment one. Uh, 
these sketches are for uh, the pencil box. So I collabed with a brand called the pencil box and they actually had my stickers featured in their boxes. And so these were the different stickers that I had made for them. Can you tell what this one is? Uh, it's Christmas. <laughs> Looks like more um, brainstorming for those pencil box stickers. That one also. I don't know why they asked me to do a whale, but anyway. Uh, holiday bucket list. This was actually something that I turned into a PDF and I posted on my blog. If you're interested, it's still up there. I mean, probably not relevant right now, but when it's time, it, it's there. It's there. This is also part of the holiday bucket list. Okay, so this looks to be more pencil sketches as opposed to like actual lining, but these are really cute. I see sushi, I see skulls. It's it's pretty random, but I don't think these actually turned into stickers. I think I was just sketching. As well as these. These never became stickers. You can tell there's a 90s vibe. There's Rad, a Game Boy, Ring Pop. These are cute. Uh, brainstorming some mugs, it looks like. I'm always trying to get the mug right, and I don't know, I just can't do it. Alpacas! Oh, these are so cute. And these ended up becoming stickers. I took the little um, thing off the top of its back, but... Ooh, books. Book Nerd. This was my favorite sticker set, and I think a lot of people love this set. It was just a lot of bookish-related things, and the colors were super nice. This one was a really, really nice one. Um, celestial, these I don't think ever became stickers, but I was going for another witchy celestial vibe. Cactus, there was a whole time where everybody was obsessed with cactus, so of course I had to jump on that. Capture everything, so this was supposed to be sort of snapshots and I was going to do a lot of Polaroid stickers so that people could fill in things into the Polaroids, but it ended up not working out. Uh, this is blank. It says sweater, but it's blank. And I did end up having uh, sweater stickers, but I guess I did it digitally. Ooh, this is so pretty. You probably can't see it, but it's a pencil sketch of like mountains. I hope you can see it. Mountains and some planets and flowers are getting really experimental there. I like the way that's going. Thank you patrons. So I must have been brainstorming on this page and then it ended up being on that other page. This is my brainstorming book. Like I brainstorm a lot in this book just because the paper is so thin I can get away with it. I feel less bad. Uh, Slytherin. Okay so I made these postcards, these watercolor postcards earlier in the whole quarantine time. For my friends at work uh, and a lot of them are Slytherin so I brainstormed some Slytherin concepts here and Ravenclaw so majority of the friend group at work are Slytherin and Ravenclaw so I did those two sorry Hufflepuff sorry Gryffindor uh, you might not be able to see this but it's a bunch of sketches of toast I was working on some food concepts for watercolor and I was I was thinking maybe toast would be cool, but then I ended up going with this, which was um, more vegetables. So you can see a giant green onion, a chili pepper, avocado, broccoli, uh, and I ended up going with that. That's why there's like circles. Like I was like, yes, I like this one. Yes, I like that one. And I think that was my last concept or sketch. So I have a lot to go in this book, and I plan to fill it up with just more sketches because people asked for stickers or digital art every once in a while so this book will be of good use. Carrying on let's do this there's only two more okay so this is a moleskin watercolor journal and the last one is actually also moleskin these two are basically the same it's just that this one's smaller um and I feel like this is one of my older ones you can <laughs> you can literally see the dust on it so let's see what's in here another house. Nothing fancy. I didn't even paint it. Uh, looks like I'm experimenting with some leaves. I like the different colors. This indigo purpley kind of color is really cute. I don't know why I was doing it, but I like it here. Oh 
oh my gosh, I love this one. This is like a basil, I believe, and it was really popular. I think it also became a print, but it didn't sell that well. Uh, but I personally love it so much. I think it's nice and simplistic and really cute. This is what happens when you're too simplistic and minimalist is just not going to cut it. This is just, no. I don't even know what this is. Uh, another pencil sketch. So this looks to be uh, Shepherd Hall over at my college that I um, graduated from. So it looks like I wrote the year 2018, so long CCNY. So I definitely wanted to keep it in here for memories, but I didn't paint it. Maybe I will. Ooh, celestial vibes. I see that I was going for the galaxy yet again. I definitely had a time with the galaxy thing. I was definitely vibing with that, it seems. I like it. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know, I was a beginner at the time. Okay, so this is where the, the food tarot just ended up failing, and the reason is totally my fault. I don't like the colors that I used. It just looked too superhero-y and just made me not like it at all. <laughs> and then I scrapped it. Another basil. Oh, I think I was into celestial things and herbs at the same time. So I think you might see a bit of that. Some autumn doodles. Very autumnal. A carrot. Why is there a carrot? Anyway. Um, houses. I guess that's another theme with me. Houses is a thing. I recall actually seeing this house and taking a photo of it. And I wanted to paint it because it was such a bright blue. Here we go, more celestial. It looks like every single element on this page has that celestial or that galaxy um, color in there. And I, I, I like it. What I like most about it is the white um, details. I think that makes it even better. Okay, this is my favorite herb painting that I've ever done. It's rosemary. And look at the layering. It's so delicate, but I love it so much. I'll cherish this one for a long time just because I, I was impressed with my layering at the time. Uh, I don't I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. The colors are just horrible. Ugh, let's not, let's not. Uh, okay, this is a total fail. It looks like I was going for different kinds of coffee drinks and it, it ended up being a total fail. I don't, I don't know what I was going for, but I don't like it. Okay, see the antlers come back, and I like this. I don't know why I didn't finish it. It looks like two antlers and sort of like a leafy wreath going around them. I think that's really cool. I don't know why I didn't finish it, but I might actually finish this one. Okay, so it looks like I was brainstorming sticker ideas, and I decided to go with herbs, which I said before I was into herbs for a bit. And it looks like I didn't even finish, which is wild, but this tying is looking pretty cute. Oh, here we go. So this is where I got more serious about it. And I like this a lot. I mean, let's pretend the bay and the, the mint doesn't exist, but check the rosemary, check the sage. The layering on the sage is pretty, pretty bomb. And I like the green onion, too. Some more autumnal autumn vibes. I know that's my favorite season. What's yours? Ghosties. These ended up being stickers for some October, don't know what year, but they ended up being stickers. As well as these, they ended up being stickers. Not all of them, some of them. I wonder why I did the stickers in this book instead of the other book. Anyway. This is what ended up being that commission for a friend who wanted me to do their house. They were also moving, so I did their first house that they lived in. Some swatches. Okay. Oh, that's it. So this actually has a good amount left as well. I should definitely get back into this. Uh, not sure when, but one day. All right. Now we're on to the last one. I'm very excited for this one because as you can see, my current sketchbook that I'm going to start working on is the same size. And I don't know, I like smaller books. I just have a thing for smaller books, despite those other books being larger. I get a good vibe from these. And I'm pretty sure I only ever used this one when I was traveling, so I think there's going to be a lot of travel stuff in here. So let's see. Oh yeah, 
For sure. So this is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever done. It's from the getaway trip. And if you know anything about getaway house, you know that they have a super large window on all of their uh, houses. They each have one and it's, it's pretty, uh, it's their selling point, I would say, because it makes for really great photos. And it looks like I wanted to document that. So, huh. Also from Getaway, this is the front of the Getaway house. I can just tell. And I love it so much. It makes me miss Getaway a lot. The, these, these are special to me, the Getaway paintings. Another Getaway. So I can tell that this is from inside. It's not as detailed as the other ones, but still incites a nice memory for me. Oh my gosh, a landscape! I really, really like this. I'm not good with landscapes, but I really like this. I can tell this is like a scene that I took a video out of out of the car window, and the the Catskills were in the back. That's where the getaway. That's the getaway that I visit. I go to. That's the signature thing about that area. Um, and I love this. It just it brings back such great memories, and I think it looks pretty cute. Uh. A failed attempt at a mushroom? It uh, has to be. has to. Uh, okay, so this was actually in Woodstock when we were at the getaway. We It was a 30-minute drive from the cabins, and I saw a free library out on the street, and I just thought it was the cutest thing. So I took a photo of it, and then I painted it later. Uh, this is the lantern at getaway. I don't know why I decided to paint this, but it's cute. I like it. And the mushroom returns. All right, so I think I was trying to draw mushroom before and I failed, so then I tried again, and this one looks a little better. Uh, I do recall there were a lot of creamy white mushrooms all around the hiking areas at the time. I think it was because it rained. Oh, okay. So this one looks starkly different from the other ones because I think I painted these all during one trip, and then I painted this on a different trip, and it was also a getaway. But the vibe is a little different because... We weren't able to go hiking because I had an injured leg at the time, and so we stayed in, we listened to scary podcasts, and we were in that spooky vibe, and I guess I went for a spooky cabin in the woods type thing here, which I think came out pretty cute. I wish I could have refined the monster in the back, but it's still pretty cute. Wow, that's literally it. I didn't even finish half of this book, and you know what? I like every single painting in this one. I definitely have to get back into it and finish this one up because this one is really, really special to me. Okay, that was it for my sketchbook tour. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like this video. And if you want to see more videos from me, especially that book haul by Black Authors that's coming up, please subscribe. And I'm actually picking up those books tomorrow, so it'll be a good time. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.